I'm Sifu Ray, and this is Sifu Allen from Wing Chun Kung. This is the Mod Style Outdoor Reactions Module. We're going to get right to it. As we know, uh, we start bridged with our Mod Style and Wu Style. And we know our Mod Style is our asking hand, our Wu Style is protection hand. Okay? When you do your Bong Style, that's where your Mod Style wrist is. Okay? Your Wu Style is at your elbow, and your wrists are right on the center line. Okay? We start out bridged. Like so, so bridge means contact. Okay. Uh, today we're doing the outdoor reaction, so that means that in order to elicit an outdoor reaction, uh, Sequel Allen is going to go ahead and give me an indoor feed. So he's going to feed from the indoor. I am going to react from the outdoor. Okay. It kind of looks like this. Sequel Allen's on the indoor. I am on the outdoor. He will feed me from the indoor. <clears throat> I will react from the outdoor. So what is the form of the feed? As we know, the feed is not just, as if, if I was feeding him from the indoor, it's not this, okay? What, it, what we want you to do is do a good solid circle step with a bent elbow and punch toward the targets as so. Make sure your feet are in line, that you're sunk, and that you're aiming towards the target. You are not um, you are not extending your arm fully, okay? So this is the feet. Circle step, punch to the target. Okay, make sure your shoulders are square, your feet are in line, okay? What are the targets? So as we know, in most of these uh, reaction modules, the targets are going to be the nodes, okay? It's going to be the side of the stern, okay? The belt line, and the center of the stern right there. So if we're gonna go ahead and feed, I'm gonna feed him to the nose. I'm gonna feed him to the side of the stern, or the chest area. I'm gonna feed him towards the belt line. And I'm gonna feed him towards the stern. Those are the targets. So as we know, just like on the indoor, uh, reactions module. Uh, when it comes to the mod style, we're going to start with the stop cycle. Okay? With the stop cycle, Sufalan is going to feed me towards the stern and towards the nose. Um, and what I will be doing is just reacting by moving forward, but very relaxed. Okay? So he's going to start with the nose, which is the stop cycle. So we're just like that. Yes. What I'm going to do is just punch toward the nose. He's going to punch toward the nose, exactly. I'm going to do the same thing. Then he's going to punch toward my sternum. And I'm going to do the same thing. So he's going to go high and middle. High, middle. High, middle. The point of this cycle is to make sure that you are reacting appropriately down the center line. Right now, in the beginning, it starts kind of stiff, where we're just stopping each other. But eventually, the more reps you do, the lighter you get. The more sensitive you are to him coming down the center, the more sensitive he is to me coming down the center. Okay? So the more reps you do, the more sensitive you'll get. The softer, the more relaxed you'll get. Do the other side. The other point of the stop cycle is to make sure that we react appropriately down the center line instead of reacting like this or reacting like this. We want to react and then move around things if necessary, right? Move around things after we've reacted, but not in this blocking fashion. So it absolutely trains your forward pressure. Okay. So that's the stop cycle. We're going to go right to the feeds. So we're going to start with the nose feed. 
Superman's going to punch me right into, right at the nose. <clears throat> He's going to circle step in with his feet. I'm going to react with a jutsu and a punch. I will not be moving except for that. So he's going to come in. That's it. You can see Sigu Allen is going to, to end up in a bong cell, low bong cell. I'm punching right toward his nose. Okay. Good. You can see, if we do it slowly, he's going to punch for my nose. Okay. I'm compressing a little bit because I feel him coming, but I'm moving forward with my punch, but I can't go, okay? So I'm gonna be sensitive enough to drop my elbow, okay? Not push him down like this and keep my elbow up. I'm dropping him down, okay? I'm basically using my, my lats over here and my elbow power to drop down, okay? So he's gonna do that again. Yes. So that's the nose punch. The next feed is, of course, to the side of the sternum or the chest. Okay. Uh, See, so I'm going to go ahead and feed really slow. I am going to punch and do a cow sound. Okay, and shift. So you can tell I'm shifting my weight. <clears throat> See, Brown is not being pushed to the side. I'm allowing him to move forward, and I'm punching him at the nose. Okay, elbow high, palm facing north that way, not pushing out. Pushing out, boom, okay? We're just allowing him to go and go where he wants to go. Okay. So that's the cow sound. The next feed is the belt line. Okay. Super Allen is going to punch straight so that I feel something, but then he's going to dive with his punch. So it's going to look like this. Boom. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to punch, feel it, gun cell straight down. Okay. So as we know, in the form of gun cell, okay. It's almost like this. Gun cell. Gun cell goes straight down your wrist, drops, it doesn't push out. Okay? <clears throat> it drops straight down to wedge through. Okay? Arm actually has to be straight for the wedge to work. If it's, if it's bent, you still may get, you still may not be able to wedge them out. So it needs to be straight down. Okay? So forward pressure, gun cell. Yes. Pressure. Okay, we'll jump to the other side. So that's the belt line. And, that, and the final feed is right towards the center of the sternum. Okay. Uh, Sifu Allen is going to go ahead and punch me right at the center. What I am going to do is the gum cell. Okay. And the gum cell looks like this. We come straight to the center. I'm going to punch forward and then press down and forward. Not down this way. I'm going to press down and forward. Okay. Your arm needs to be straight from your shoulder to the center. So it's not like this, and it's not like this. It's just straight down to the center on your shoulder, okay? Right to the 
the same one. Yes. What's the difference between a high or the no speed and a center line feed? Because you could still do the juts out if he comes this way from here. But you're feeling something completely different. Okay? When you're punching towards the nose, you feel the, your pressure on your wrist. Okay? You're, you're compressing here. The only way you can come down, if you want to stay soft about it, is to jut down. When you when you're feel pressure coming toward your center, you're almost feeling it on your elbow. Okay? When you feel something on your elbow, press down. Okay? So there's a difference between where you're being fed or where you're being punched as to what your reaction is going to be. It still goes downwards. Okay? It's still only jutted downwards. It's just a different uh, movement. Okay? So, That's the sternum feed. Those are the uh, Mansa outdoor reactions to the indoor feeds. So this is the Lotso portion of the Mansa outdoor reactions module. So as you know, with the Lotso, uh, the point is here is that we want you guys to learn how to bridge when you're not in contact. In the original, in the first part of the module, we are in Manza Uso and we're contacted, okay, so that you can feel where the feed is coming, okay, or the attack, okay. When we're uncontacted, it's a little more difficult to feel, so you have to feel your way and contact and bridge. So the lat cell always starts unbridged and then you bridge, okay. It also ends with a chain punch because we want you guys to get used to attacking after you've been attacked, okay? So, uh, we're going to start with uh, the nose feed, obviously, okay? Uh, see, well, I'm going to punch me towards the nose. From the indoor, I'm gonna come from the outdoor, okay? He's gonna punch this way, boom. He is, he is, we have now bridged. I have punched forward, I'm feeling it. I'm going to jut down and give him Three chain punches. Okay. slow this time. There's a punch for my nose. I'm punching towards his nose. I'm feeling it. Very split second I'm going to feel, but I, he is going to overcome my forward pressure. I'm going to jut down with my elbow. Punch. One, two, three. One. Okay, so that is the last out. Uh, portion of the nose feed. Our next feed is, of course, the side of the sternum or the chest. So we're going to do the cow style. See, he is I'm moving forward. He's punching toward my chest. I'm going to cow style, shift, okay, punch, and then pox style. One, two, three.
if he, after you hit him that first time or the second time, he's retreating. Boom. Boom, he starts to retreat, circle, step in, and punch. Okay? But for now, just practice the shift, cow saddle, pox saddle, three chain punches. Okay? The belt feet is just a punch, gun saddle, one, two, three. This one, you're going to go straight to the belt line. A little more visual. So you're watching, you're moving forward. Punch, come up, punch, one, two, three. And then really slow if it retreats after I hit. Boom. One, two, three. Circle step. Punch at the jaw. Okay, so that is the lasso portion of the Monsau Outdoor Reactions module. Okay, so this is the self-defense applications of the Monsau Outdoor Reactions module. Okay, so originally we did a uh, bridged part of the module, uh, we, which is Chi Sao. We did the La Sao portion, which was the unbridged part of the, mods, uh, part of the module, and now we're doing the applications. Um, there's only two applications based upon two attacks. Um, and then in class, what we do is we will elaborate from there. Okay. So, uh, self-defense, when we're talking about the outdoor reactions now, what we're looking at is an indoor attack, okay? So, if we're applying the module, uh, the Monsau indoor feed to outdoor reactions, we're looking for an indoor attack. Nine times out of ten for an indoor attack, the opponent is going to be in an orthodox boxing pose. So, it's coming at you like this. He's already covered his center line. Indoor uh, reactions, we, the, the opponent was squared off. Okay, he wasn't like this. So we've captured the center line. Okay, but in this particular module, the bo this is the box of the orthodox stance. He's already captured. Okay, so the feeds are going to look like this, like a boxer. Okay, for Winter and Poon. There are two self-defense guards then, okay? What we talked about earlier, if your opponent has square shoulder, is not angled, okay? But a square shoulder, that means the center line is open, okay? He is not in Mansao Wusao, okay, unless you meet a Wing Chun guy, okay? Nine times out of ten, he's like this, okay? If he's square shouldered, then our guard is the Wusao, okay? Because we know we can go straight to it. He squared off. So, this is your Wusa. We just put it together and say, hey, we don't want to fight. And if something happens, if you throw us show something, we go ahead and we wedge and we come through. Okay? Uh, in this particular module, uh, we are now in an orthodox. 
orthodox box, boxing stance, right? Okay, so I, if I'm here, I cannot hit. He's going to come straight towards me, okay? He is not open, okay? So in this case, what we're going to be doing is using a double mansa. So instead of double lusa, we're going double mansa, okay? Here, we're able to handle a lot of the attacks that come from this stance and this, and this opponent's guard. So if we start with the rear cross, he's going to go ahead and do it right to my chin. Okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go, go ahead and I'm going to out fall step and punch him right at the jaw. Okay? So, boom. Okay? So let's try that again. Double Monsell, rear cross. You may hit the ear, you may hit the jaw. It depends on where his head is. You can see my, my footwork is a forward out falling step. Okay. So I'm here, and I'm going to punch. Okay. You can do both sides. I'm here. See, I'm making contact because he's fading right now with the punch. But sometimes they keep that up there because they see you coming a little bit. Okay, they react. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is use <clears throat> our first reaction. Okay, the jut stop. It's going to come in, punch to its high. I'm going to jut and punch and circle step in at the same time. Okay. So here we are, it's going to give me a recross, cut. I'm going to do it slow. Cut, jump, punch, step at the same time. How does it look, form-wise? Out falling step, remember to keep your loose out here. Okay, jump, circle step. One more time. Front out falling step, jump. Punch, circle step at the same time. Here. Okay. One more time. If he fades, you may hit him. Okay? You may hit him. You never know. If he decides to keep his arm up there, jump down. It's part of the sensitivity that you're learning in the first part of the module. Once you feel that pressure, jut down. Here's your forward pressure coming towards the chin. Boom. Jut and circle step in. Okay? You could also do it with the jab. I'm ready. I'm cutting through. Okay? He's leaving it up. I'm jutting. Jut. I'm actually stepping in front of him this time. I didn't circle step this time. There's the cut. I can circle step from the back. Or I can just circle step forward. Okay? So you can see I'm actually taking the front out falling step, the forward out falling step, circle step. applications of the Monsal Outdoor Reactions module. So we covered the Chi Sao portion, which is the bridged portion. Um, we covered the Lat Sao, which is the unbridged with chain punching. And we, we covered the uh, self-defense application um, for, the, for the module. The next module is the Monsal Cross Reactions module. Um, Thanks to C.P. Allen for his help today, and we'll see you next time.